Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in the heart of nature. Look at this beautiful background. Got the birds singing. But are you still trying to figure out if someone is really who they say they are? How to recognize someone's who they actually say they are? Because my oh my, they're talking a lot. Let's just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. We have a whole lot to talk about. This is sexology, water, fire, hot, cold, yin, yang, daddy's home, we're back. Now, someone asked Ralph, yes, how can I trust someone? How can I know who they are? Okay, okay, we just, we're just gonna start like that. Yes, Ralph. I've been in a relationship with someone, but I'm still not sure if I really know this person. Deep divers, is that you? You're scratching your head, asking the cat down the road to be your counselor in this moment in time because you're still not sure who you're waking up to every single day and uh, we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> so let me share with you what's helped me along my journey how I recognize who someone actually is, if they are who they actually say they are. Because a lot of people love to talk a lot. I've realized this, Deep Divers, it's really simple. A person's energy can tell you more about them than their words. Slow motion this side. Mm. Yikes! Like, Let's get really simple. How do you feel around them? Because that will tell you a lot more than what they are actually telling you. Do you get goosebumps? Are you starting to blush right now? Are you looking a bit shaky, baby? Okay, how do they make you feel? That's how to recognize someone's who they actually say they are. How do they treat other people? How do they treat their family? Do they talk to their mom? Do they have a good relationship with their father, their brother, their sister, the cat down the road? Like, how are they around other people? That will tell you a bit more about this person. You see, many times what happens, <laughs> we're just listening to someone. But how we feel is totally different. And you have to really respect your intuition. Intuition emanating from the Latin intuere, which means to notice. How do I feel around this person? That's how to recognize if they are who they actually say they are. <laughs> Look at it like this. I've been sharing and inspiring people for a long time. And when I meet someone, if I really want to know if they are who they actually say they are, I want to see if their lifestyle matches their values. Like, are they talking this consciousness stuff, yet they're working in McDonald's? Seven day vegan challenge, working in McDonald's, right? <laughs> Does their lifestyle match their values? If the answer is yes, then that's how to know if someone is actually who they say they are. You see, if you meet someone living out their mission day in, day out, it will give you a better indication of where this person's heart really is, okay? A lot of people are like, Ralph, I just started watching your videos. You got a lot to watch, right? Shout out to all the beautiful deep divers who've been with me when I used to have the massive afro, okay? You know I am who I say I am because you've seen my journey progressively. Okay, that's how to recognize someone's who they actually say they are, okay? You met them already in their purpose, doing something, helping people. They didn't just start doing it. They've been doing it for years. I've been doing this my whole life. I always wanted to say that. How to recognize someone's 
actually who they say they are. If their actions match their words, you can believe it. But if not, question mark. A lot of a lot of people, a lot of people love to talk the good talk in relationships, in friendships. They're like, I'll always be there for you. Next week, they've disappeared because people are as changeable as the weather. I've realized this, that one of the four agreements is be impeccable with your word. To recognize if someone is actually who they say they are, if they're like, hey, I'm really reliable. What do their actions show? Does it show reliability? Does it show that they are honest? Does it show that they are committed? Okay, so just look at their actions and that will help you know if you can trust this person, if they are actually who they say they are. I can say, yeah, I'm gonna keep making videos. My actions will show you if I do or not. <laughs> Look at it like this as well. When a person shows you who they are, believe them, okay? Sometimes it's like we don't really wanna believe it. And this happens a lot in relationships. Sometimes you're getting all the signs, the red flags. Your intuition is kind of warning you about someone, but they have a good story and it's kind of believable, okay? But if they're actually showing you, because sometimes people will slip up, okay? Take it as a sign that when the grass is cut, the snakes will show. When things get a little bit rough, people's true colors will be revealed. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You see, because time is the secret. Time reveals everything. Give it time. A lot of people are like, Ralph, I love you. I love you. Next week, I don't hear back from them. Some people are like, Ralph, I love you. This was years ago. And they're still saying, Ralph, I love you. Same thing with me and the cat down the road. I'm like, I've been with a cat down the road since day one. I'm always going to be with the cat down the road because I love the cat down the road. You see, some people are only here for the party. They only want to be around you because you're successful. They only want to be around you because they can get something from you. They only want to be around you because you're famous. They only want to be around you because you know a lot of people. They only want to be around you because <laughs> you're pretty cool. Yes, you are. But to know if someone is truly who they say they are, give it time. Wait a year. Wait two years and then see if they're still around. If they are, they are your ride or die. They really care about you. You can trust that person. If not, if the money goes, if situations change, then this person is not really genuine, okay? How to recognize someone's actually who they say they are. Baby, baby, seven day vegan challenge. Shout out to everybody stuffing a pineapple in their mouth right now full of vitamin C watching Infinite Waters. I don't blame you. <laughs> someone's plate tells me a lot about them. Let me explain. I'm very nosy. Sometimes I go out to eat and I'm looking at other people's plates and I can often gauge their energy because whatever you are eating, Seven Day Vegan Challenge is showing the world your respect level and your compassion level. If I'm eating blueberries or mangoes, like I meet a lot of people who are eating a lot of sun-kissed foods, mangoes, dates, watermelons, pineapples, okay? And what this tells me about them, very simply, it tells me this, that this person really cares about animals, okay? This person not only cares about animals, this person cares about their body. Because <laughs> some people are like, yeah, I really want to be healthy. 
I really want to be healthy, Ralph. But their plate says something totally different. They're eating junk food, processed meats, which actually cause cancer. So if a person's plate is karma-free, seven-day vegan challenge, what this shows me is that this person actually cares about animals. They have a lot of compassion for all life forms on the planet. So that then tells me that this person is very caring, loving, okay, they love to share. Also, it shows me they have respect, okay, because they respect the cat down the road, the cow down the road, the dog down the road, the pig down the road. And this is someone I really want to be around. How to recognize someone's actually who they say they are. Now, check this out, deep divers, I've realized this. That prana is just so beautiful. Many times what happens? People are talking and talking about what they're going to do. Don't tell me what you're going to do. Show me the results, okay? If you can see somebody more than you can hear somebody, that's how to recognize they are actually who they say they are. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. If you can feel somebody more than you, if you can feel somebody, if you can feel somebody more than you can hear somebody, that's how to recognize that person is actually who they say they are. Many times people aren't there when we're going through a crisis. Oh no, Ralph, you're looking a bit shaky, baby. You might even be crying, okay? A lot of people are there for the party. They don't want to help us set up. To recognize someone's actually who they say they are, they're not only dancing with you in the party, they're helping you set up the chairs. What? Deserves a slow motion. <laughs> okay, so if somebody is with you, not only in your high moments, but in your low moments, right? Not only in your high moments, but also in your low moments, deep divers, you probably got a friend who's always there for you. It's what I call a comfort friend, probably the best friend you ever have. And you don't even realize it because they're always there in the hardest moments. You know you're going to call this friend. You can recognize they are actually who they say they are because they're proving through their actions. Okay, some people are like, yeah, I'm always going to be there for you. When the situation is looking a bit shaky, baby. Hey, where'd you go? Where'd, where'd you go? They are nowhere to be seen because they're only there for the party. So ask yourself, are they here for me, for the party? Or are they only here for just the fame? Or are they actually going to help me set up the chairs for the party? Okay, and then enjoy the party with me how to recognize someone's actually who they say they are. I can say I'm very happy. I'm really happy. <laughs> I am happy. They'll tell you. <laughs> Just ask them. And that's why you have to really connect with very honest people, very transparent people, so you can get an honest answer from them so you don't have to be a psychic reader. So that's what I love to do. <laughs> I've realized this, Deep Divers, that if you can see an, the inside of someone, if you can see the inside of someone more than the outside of someone, that's how to recognize they are actually who they say they are. If you can see the inner workings of their mind, okay, because many times we can fool people by how we dress, by how we talk, by what kind of car we drive, but well, we still don't really know who they are. But if somebody has showed you their mind, how it works, and you've fallen in love with that, that's how to recognize they are actually who they say they are. Have you had a chance to become more intimate with this person? Many times we haven't had a chance to become more intimate with someone. And that's the big problem. You see, many times I'm like, okay, how well do I know somebody? Have I spent a lot of time with this person? No, then I don't know them. Have I gone to their house? Like growing up, I would go to different friends' houses, okay, and then meet their parents. And I'm like, okay, this person is actually who they say they are. Sometimes I would go to their houses and 
they would act totally different around me than <laughs> when they're at home, okay? Then I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, who the hell are you? Not even the cat down the road knows, right? So I've realized this, that to really recognize who a person is, especially in relationships, make time. Communication is essential for creating a better relationship, a better friendship, wherever you are. And communication can only happen through intimacy. Most people don't have time. And that's why it's hard to recognize if people are actually who they say they are. It's hard to trust people, okay? A lot of people trust me because I'm very intimate with you. I'm diving deep once again. Peace. <laughs> Do you say that with me as well? Peace, right? How to recognize if someone's actually who they say they are, pierce their ego, okay? Get through their ego, the walls of defense, okay? And if you've managed to do that, that will help you have a clearer image of who this person is actually, right? Of who this person actually is. Many times, that's why I talk of the water relationship. When you are in your heart space with someone else, you can really recognize if a person is actually who they say they are because now the ego is no longer there. You can feel this person more than you can hear this person, okay? Many times, so long as people are wrapped in their ego, it's very hard to recognize if this person is actually who they say they are. So a lot of the times what I love to do is bring someone aside, go to a quiet park and really start talking to this person, have deep conversations with this person, see where their mind is at, their level of consciousness is at, okay? And that will really help you. How to recognize if someone's actually who they say they are. Woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. What's helped me along my journey, plain and simple, is to see if they have the same energy in the same situations, the same circumstances, right? Do they have the same energy with you when you're in their house and then their mom walks in or the cat down the road walks in, okay? Are they authentic all around, not just in one situation and then change? No, do they have a level of consistency in their demeanor, in their behavior, in their attitude to not only you, but to all people they meet, okay? Because that's really how to recognize if someone's who they actually say they are, okay? With me, a lot of people meet me and they're like, Ralph, oh my gosh, you're exactly like how you're, you're exactly like how you are in your videos, except when you say, can I get a hello there? It's actually a lot louder in person. Goodness gracious, Ralph, okay? That's how to recognize if someone is actually who they say they are. Many times, what happens? We go through life and what happens? We change, we're chameleons, okay? Many times you meet chameleons, you meet people who, who you're like, oh my gosh, I can trust this person. But then you start to realize this person lives a double life. They are one way to you and then one way to their parents, one way to a stranger. So we don't really know who we're dealing with, okay? So you really wanna look for transparency, authenticity, and that's how to recognize someone's actually who they say they are. And then you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in the heart of nature, just basking in this delicious sunshine, just, Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You! <laughs> okay, I definitely know who you are. You don't have to say anything. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs>